Uh, today is an honor for me to be here uh, and to follow two strong women like we just heard right now. And I want to welcome all of you to Omniville. This is our neighborhood and this is your neighborhood. Thank you for being here. This is a proud day for our neighborhood and we are excited for Providence and also because today we're gonna kick off the campaign which is a journey to let one of our own to the city's top office. The Salomon name is so connected to Omniville. For the past 55 years, his father, Anthony Salomon, <laughs> he has owned and operated and the, 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 one of the few independent pharmacies here in Rhode Island, Anthony Drugstore, which is right here on Manton Avenue. Many of us have been there cashing the checks. I remember that's what I used to go. <laughs> For over 30 years, Michael has owned and operated uh, at a small business here in Oneville, which is West's Rip House. And even though he lives in Elmhurst, yeah, he's Uh, but he has never forgotten uh, his route to Oneville and his connection to this historic neighborhood. He stay committed. He served as the board chair for Oneville Housing. We worked together there. And he fought for affordable housing in this neighborhood. He worked with the Merchant Association, uh, helping small businesses to develop. And he has helped countless of residents of this community of, of Providence during time of need. That is because Michael understands the importance of community. He knows that when individuals come together and we work together as one, the community and, and the neighborhoods and the community and the city gets better and gets transformed. As council president, Michael has empowered me and my colleagues. He understands that if we don't work together, that we're not gonna be able to achieve the, the positive things that we need for the city of Providence. Michael is a dedicated father, as we just learned. He's a, uh, he's a small business owner and he's a public servant also. He has led the city through financial crisis by encouraging teamwork among me and my colleagues. When you think about it, and I'm gonna go away from my speech for a little bit, for a little bit but we were commenting earlier. We're looking at the room that is here today. Everybody's represented here. So um, Providence needs to achieve its full potential. We must continue the hard work that we have been doing for the last three years. We must rebuild the middle class in Providence, and we must stabilize our school system. Providence needs a brighter future, and Michael is the person that's gonna take us there.